Welcome back. I'm Mark Norseth, a teaching artist here at the Honolulu Museum of Art. In this part of our video, I'd like to continue with some demonstrations of principles that we saw at work earlier. Artists considered their business to create unity in their paintings as much as possible. You'll recall that unity means to bring all the parts of the picture together in the utmost harmony. As we saw in the Van Gogh painting, we mentioned balance, consonance, and color. Because these are universal qualities in all paintings, I'd like to demonstrate all three for you now, in an ocean painting, a still life painting, and an urban scene painting. Here we see a generalized seascape composition. As it is, it's got a nice variety of shapes, but it's unbalanced. There's too much weight here on the right side. Since creating unity is providing balance, let's counter this heavy right side with something to create an opposing weight. Let's pretend this little bit of paper represents the moon. And I'll try positions that might work towards better balance. Let's go for the center. Common place to start. Not quite so satisfactory. Let's come over here a ways. Again, not so great. But as we saw when looking at the Van Gogh painting, there was a solution by placing the element somewhere on the square. So let's try that here. We'll take this measurement and we'll apply it in this direction here, which brings us to about a line right about here. Going diagonally and down that spot, we end up with a placement right there. As you can see, it's changing the balance in this composition and creating a nice sense of harmony. That was a simple way of seeing how balance can be adjusted in a painting, creating an improved sense of unity. Another type of unity is sometimes called consonance. Consonance is a subtle repetition of a shape or a color that ties one part of a painting to another. It's usually not noticed unless you know to look for it, but it will be felt. Here's a still life arrangement. Still life paintings are very concerned with solving problems of unity and creative solutions are needed. I'd like to demonstrate some of our ideas and consonants for you here. This still life is carefully composed, but deliberately rather disconnected from the right side to the left. In terms of consonants, please notice that all the objects have this one thing in common. They are all round at the base or circular, or better yet, they're elliptical. And notice also that they are arranged in an elliptical way. So despite appearances, we have a repetition of the ellipse going on throughout the painting. Now we still have a big disconnect in terms of light and color. The left side is lively with strong colors. This was actually my wife's breakfast one morning. But across over here on the other side, everything is dark and almost gloomy by comparison. I need to build a bridge to make these two sides unified. So here's what I've chosen to do.
There, can you see the difference when you view the whole painting? The light and dark sides are now more unified. I hope you can see how these seemingly small adjustments can make a difference in creating unity in this painting. And as you look at paintings in our museum's galleries, it's fun to see if you can identify where artists might be using these techniques. Using this painting, which is quite busy with a mix of man-made and natural shapes, let's try unifying it using a method we saw in the Van Gogh painting. I'm going to choose the color red, just as he did. First, I'll link one side of the painting with the other. I think you can see the difference that introducing these small touches of red creates. Our mind connects the separate parts, creating a harmonious link, though it's very subtle. And once again, I snuck in a use of consonants. Do you recall Van Gogh's clouds in the haystack, how the shapes echoed each other? Here's the same principle. Once you see it, it's hard to unsee it. As you can now see, creating unity is a fascinating feature of painting. We hope that these demonstrations will enrich your visit to our galleries at the museum. Thank you for watching.